you know what, optimizing probably only makes sense when you're also able to apply it to yourself. So three years of A-B testing and talking to all of our clients have led to this, our new website. And it is so far performing three times better than the old version. So I'm gonna walk you through what changed from the old version to the new version, why it works and why I broke some of my own rules here. We're gonna go section by section for both desktop and mobile and annotate everything with great detail so you'll know exactly what works and why. Before we begin though, my last course was called Design Plus AI and I now know that it's not really the right name for it. So I'm renaming it to this. It's called the Square Black Blueprint and there is a dedicated website coming very soon but if you already have it, you will get all of those updates for free and you can buy it right now with a link in the description. Because what that course really is, is all the secrets of Square Black, all the documents, processes, templates, and ways to engage with clients for maximum result. This is the main and core focus of it and this is all the things that we are still using at the company. So obviously today's video will also be included in that course but with a lot more detail on every little part of it. Let's go through why our agency website is performing so well. Let's start with the header and it's worth mentioning that for this site specifically we bought the license for Helvetica now, the noisiest version of Helvetica that cost us around $300 per year. And it was completely worth it because it transforms the website in a big, big way. We start the header off by framing our experience. Then as a selling point, we show our primary focus when working with clients. I mentioned both websites and apps because some clients thought that we only make websites. It's good to have it right there and very clear. We simplified the logo and made it in a way where there is a lot of white space on the left side that shifts the attention to the right where the buttons are. The menu is as simple as possible. Projects, then testimonials, then a client list, and then finally the pricing followed by the main CTA button. For a long time now, the idea was to have that top CTA not as visible so it doesn't visually compete with the main one in the middle of the page, but in this case we broke that rule and it worked. So, as you can see, it's not all set in stone and sometimes you really need to test even the obvious. A lot of our clients kept asking whether we only work for big Fortune 500 brands, so we added the end startups at the end here. That clarifies that we do all kinds of projects. We have a side-scrolling carousel of the logos of some of the clients we worked for, but in this case there is a twist, because this is just priming for a special section down below that we're gonna talk about very soon. Because anyone can show logos here, and in most cases people have no way of checking that, so we remedied that below. Above the fold we're still showing our work two projects in that case, and they alternate between just screens and people in the context of using the product, like the one on the right. That adds both variety and the personal touch. On some of the projects, we already have the stats of how they're doing after a redesign, so we show that they tripled their signups or revenue. And those metrics will be all explained in a case study. We also emphasize both work types, so both websites and mobile apps, right in the header, both in the title and in the two visible project types. That's on purpose. Next, it's a bento grid that explains exactly what we do. It has four boxes, so let's handle the top two first. There is a scrolling list of different industries that we worked for and that's a very good thing because when a client sees their own industry it lights a little light in their head that they're right for me. Then we show the conversion rates of typical websites and where we go but we keep it realistic. We don't say it's gonna be 10x because it rarely really is. 
One of the biggest differentiators in our case is that we both plan a whole future growth strategy, so not just a product and that's it, and we also explain all of our design decisions. The last part is done through appearing chat messages to grab attention so people understand that working with us is not random. Then we show real client testimonials, but there are a couple twists here. One important thing is to ask the clients not to overproduce their recordings. They need to be rough and recorded on a smartphone, preferably vertically, because if they're too overproduced, they're not gonna look trustworthy. We mix subtitled video testimonials that you can watch right in place with text testimonials that you can read. So it's not overwhelming. You don't feel like you need to watch a lot of videos, but at the same time, you get both the text and the video. And with the text testimonials, you can actually check that these are all real verifiable people, not some random stock photos like on most agency websites. This creates a deeper sense of trust because it shows real people that have been working with us before and they were happy. Then there's also this section and I'm gonna explain why it looks like this and why it's on a darker background inside the course. And then we get to the client list because everybody can put some nice logos on their website and pretend like they did those projects. But in our case, we actually have a history of quite a lot of work. So we wrote a little blurb about each project and each client that we worked for, and you can expand it to a full list of 50 main clients. It's a short, easy to understand information about every client and every logo, and it connects to the carousel of logos that you see above because now they start to make sense. They're not just logos in a carousel, but they're real, tangible projects that we did. And we limited the list to 50 biggest projects that we worked on, but obviously there is more. And you can click to expand that full list if you really want to know more. This shows we're not afraid to actually show our work. This section will also be fully explained in the course, but one thing worth mentioning here is something that many clients suspect that if you're a successful agency, you're obviously gonna outsource it to some other people and you're not gonna be doing the work yourself and they're expecting you to do the work. So we clearly state that we don't outsource to anyone, which can expand the waiting time, but no matter what, you will be working with us directly. But there is a lot more convincing parts here and I will cover them all inside the course. Then we merged an information about me and Diana with an FAQ. And the FAQ is not a random question. These are all things that the clients kept asking about. So we naturally update them as we go. Then we have another breather section and this one actually gets 40% of all the CTA clicks. We'll cover why inside the course. The footer adds another kind of social proof, this time journalism, and showing only our active high follower pages that have links to them. And the last CTA with our faces. It also works because it's not too overwhelming. It's pretty easy to focus on and it has links for you to check whether we're legit or not. But you know what? To test something, you need to understand it first. So the first thing that I do on a call with a new client is asking how they found us and what convinced them the most on our website. Also, what was possibly missing. And in our case, some clients actually told us what was missing. They were missing the case studies and I completely get that. But they do take a while to create and we are pretty busy with work right now. We are working, however, pretty slowly at filling all those case studies with relevant information. But in our case, it can't be just a style guide with some screenshots. It needs to make sense. So for all our clients, we're actually getting metrics and feedback. Some of those you can already see as those little badges on the website itself. But there's gonna be a lot of data, a lot of graphs, charts, and patterns that we used to make the client's website perform way, way better. So these things take time. And at least we acknowledge that we're not fully there yet. Because I believe once we put the case studies out, in a format that I believe is gonna be the right one for us. Then those sales are gonna skyrocket even further.
The previous version of the website had a huge logo right in the header and a single project up top with the logos and a main overview of what we do. Then a much larger project showcase done in a similar way but not as well planned. The communication around the brand was completely different and back then we didn't really have all that client data and the client questions so we only focused on what we thought the clients wanted to know. We also complicated our offer quite a bit and focused on ourselves a bit too much. This section required side scrolling which made it a little bit less visible because some people just never scroll. And once again answering some of the questions we thought the clients would ask. So running a successful agency in 2025 is all about being honest about what problem you're solving and then clearing all the doubts. Something that I've been talking about for the last two or three years maybe. It's not about fancy bento boxes, it's not about AI generated heading visuals, it's about the message. And the message here is loud and clear. If you want to learn how I do these things, just get my course, link in the description, and obviously have a beautiful day.